What's up guys? We're back on the boat. I got a number of things I like to get done. I need to replace a few exhaust hoses. Had a little trouble trying to get them off earlier in the season when it was cold. Hopefully today when uh, it's a little bit warmer should make it a little bit easier. So uh, we'll try that one first. So stick around. All right, here's our new hoses. We've got two hoses to replace. One is the exhaust for the generator, the wet exhaust. So we have this Shield Flex 2 Marine Wet Exhaust Hose. That's a two inch hose. And then we also need to replace the smaller hose that goes from the muffler to the through hull. Same type of hose, just inch and a half. So uh, we'll tackle these today. These should be, I think, cut to the sizes I need. My plan on this day was to get several projects completed and I figured the exhaust hoses would only take an hour or so to replace. Or so I thought. Okay, so here we are. This is the first hose for the generator I want to replace. I don't know if you can see it, but it, the hose is starting to leak. See those white lines? That's looks like calcium or whatever may be coming through, leaking, leaching through the hoses. And the other hose is back there. We need to replace so uh, a little tough to get back in here I'll have to crawl in there I got my working on boat clothes on get a little bit dirty I'll have to take the enclosure off of the uh, generator I believe to get to this uh, hopefully that's not too involved but we'll see I guess we'll start with that first So we got the cover off. And then right back here is the hose. So two hose clamps need to come off. Need to pull that hose out. We can follow that hose. Let's see it go underneath. The Exhaust pipe, and here it goes to the muffler right here. The muffler has multiple hoses coming out of it. You have a top discharge where the exhaust fumes could come out. You have the bottom discharge, which goes through a smaller through hole. That hose was already replaced a couple years ago, so that's in good shape. But that's for the underwater discharge you can see they have the shutoff valve on it and then here's the intake to the muffler from the generator and uh, I don't know if you can see it's a little dry rotted got some cracks so uh, that's an indication you want to replace those hoses to get this off I think it's gonna be quite a challenge easy this is going to be. I don't think it's going to be easy at all. Yep, that's going to be a problem. What I might do is just slice it with a razor to make it come off a lot easier. Let's do this the easy way. There we go. You can see that wire. I think it helps helps strengthen that hose. You just cut that wire cutters and we'll be able to work it out. Tough wire. There we go. Let me check these. These look in pretty good shape. No rust. That's good. After much tugging. Try and get the screwdriver back in there. It broke loose when I twisted it. And here you go. What's in a muffler? All right, you got one down. Three more to go. All right, let's see if we get this one off. I'm going to try cutting it in the middle like this other one. That seemed to work. Makes it easier twisting. 
The adhesive that the manufacturer installed on the hoses really helped, I guess, with keeping it from leaking, but made it nearly impossible to pull these hoses off those fittings. I consulted some other boat owners, and from my past experience, I never added any additional adhesive to hoses like this. All right, once it snaps, it comes off. Look at that. All right, that's two down. Three to go. It seems like getting behind the hose here, get some leverage, breaking some of that glue. Oops, you can hear it. Spins right off. Three down, one to go. Hoorah. So, trying to pry this off, I snapped the tip of my cheap screwdriver. I like this screwdriver too. I'm gonna go for the heavy duty guy. I think I got it now. I was able to get around the back. Main exhaust hose out. You can see the cracks in the hose. Start seeing that, it's time to get rid of it. You don't want to have exhaust fumes leaking in the bilge. That could be a problem. Alright, so all the hoses are out. Now I'm going to want to prep all the connections, make sure they're nice and clean, and get them ready for the new hose. Got the clamps on the hoses already. So Okay, so a little bit of a problem. What I discovered was the two inch generator exhaust hose, the one I ordered, is too short. I did not account for this space. This is what happens. You should take the hoses off first and then get the hose sizes you need. But I measured from inside the end of this hole, I measured up to here, thinking this is where the hose ended. It ends here, so I am missing about six inches of hose. So, bad call on my part, I need to order a new two inch exhaust hose for the generator. Okay, so it's a few weeks later and I ordered a new exhaust hose, this time the correct length, five feet. And this is how it was shipped, wrapped up in this blue plastic. Pretty neat, I think. So I got this from gomarine.com. So we're gonna be putting this new hose in today, hopefully. It should be long enough. Got to sneak it around. It's got to go into the generator there, sneak it underneath. Get it over to that. Got a little dishwashing soap. I'm going to put on that nozzle there. Help get the hose on. You want to alternate them with the screw in one direction on the other, on one, the opposite direction on the other. nice and tight. You want to set the clamps like this, opposite ends. All right, we're all set on that end. Okay, the hose got to come through and we up on this nipple here. We'll do the same thing with the soap. Okay, gotta get the hose up in here. Which the hose doesn't bend very easy. It's gonna go up in there and then up onto the nipple. 
This is the part of the video that I edited out about an hour and a half of cursing, sweating, and swearing trying to get this hose on that nipple of the generator. The inlet to the generator seems to be oversized for the hose and it was really tough to get it on. I found the best way was to use quite a bit of the soap solution and twist the hose as you're squeezing it onto the nipple. I finally got the hose on, but I was exhausted from the process. I didn't even notice that the hose clamps weren't aligned parallel to each other. I'll have to fix that when I test it in the spring. Okay, so put all this back together and come the spring, when we start it up, we'll check for leaks. All right, a one hour job turned into like a three hour job. And that's the way boats go. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and leave your comments in the comments section. We'll see you next time. I'm getting too old for this.